Money, 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 money. Money. How much money does the average American have in their savings account? Between five to ten thousand dollars. That's right. If you're curious about the facts, statistically, the digital uh, balance of people's accounts in America in their savings account is between five to ten thousand dollars. You may have way more than that. You may have just that, or you may have less. But the average person has that. So that tells you a lot about people's financial situation. What does it tell you? It tells you most people have enough money to get by for at least two to four months if they lost their job without any major financial catastrophe. Uh, it shows you that the average person uh, can deal with the average emergency, you know, their um air conditioner condenser goes out. Now, if their air conditioner condenser goes out, what should happen to me uh, when you own a home, that can cost around, for me, it cost $8,000. And I had a thousand square foot condo. Now, I had about that much in savings, but was I going to wipe out my savings account because I had between five to 10 grand? No. So what I do, I took out a credit card and I financed the air conditioner. And then you get debt. Nothing wrong with that. If that's what you need or that that's what you want. But the five to $10,000, most people try to never touch that. And people who have below $5,000, they're pretty much probably close to in poverty or at the very beginning of their career and just moving out on their own. And so they're always going to kind of, you know, either just get by or they're going to build up and grow as a person and you know, get hold of their finances. And then you have people that have $25,000 or more in a savings account. This is upper middle class and so forth. So obviously, look, you do want to pay down debt for the most part as an individual. Certainly you want to have at least five to 10 grand in a savings because you don't want to pay off all your debt, then have an emergency and have nothing in savings. Because you can't eat no debt, but you can eat from five to 10 grand in savings. But you should do both. Uh, but this gives you some insight, okay, on the average American. Uh, America, the richest country in the world. Uh, but you still gotta pay for your own health care if you're not very poor, because if you're very poor, you get Medicaid. Or if you're not very old, if you're over 65, you get Medicare. So you get health care. But if you're in the middle, Okay, the working middle class in, in that age group and in that category in life, if you lose your job or if you're an entrepreneur, you got to pay for your own health care or you have to take the chance that you could rack up debt and go bankrupt. So I'm saying all that to say like part of having a savings account is saying, okay, if I lose my job, I need six months or so, six months to a year's worth of expenses to be able to stay on my feet while I find another job because it takes on average, four to six months to get another career job. You can get any job at any time. You can go deliver pizza. I did that. You could go DoorDash. You could work at Walmart. Uh, don't be scared to do all those things. I've done some of those things. But to get another career job, even if you're very qualified, it'll take four to six months because there's an interview process and a career job usually means two interviews. And there's a whole onboarding and it's going to take four or six months time to get your first paycheck. And certainly by the time your health benefits kick in. So you need that six to 12 months worth of savings worth of expenses in a savings account so that you can endure probably the biggest hardship, which would be losing your job uh, and or having a, you know, medical emergency or some other emergency. So, you know, that, that, Sounds about right. Five to 10 grand for the average person. The average person is doing average. I mean, they're not destitute. No one in America is starving to death. Even the very poor have EBT cards or subsidized housing and or both. Uh, uh, the very rich never care about anything. Uh, the working middle class, it's always a struggle, right? But, you know, if you gamble too much, if you have too many kids, uh, if you take too much risk in life, you know, look, even if you got five to 10 grand in the savings account, you can owe a hundred grand, right? Many people have college loan debt. The average college loan debt is between 30 to $40,000. Okay. So if you have 10 grand in a savings account, but $40,000 debt, 
that means you have a net worth of negative 30,000. Okay, so it's all a balance, but you're going to eat today. You're going to drive. You're going to do pretty much, most people do pretty much what they want today outside of rolling around in money, being, you know, Scrooge McDuck, buying whatever car they want, buying whatever house they want, never working. But most people buy an expensive car. The average car in America right now is $40,000. <laughs> most people live in a $300,000, $400,000 house. The average person in America, average house right now in America is $350,000. Someone's buying them. <laughs> There's a lot of supply. They don't own corporations. I know a lot of people bought houses. It wasn't a corporation this year. So, this is the average American. I gave you an above average video. I think I give way above average. If you agree, click that thumbs up for free. Okay. And if you want to support the channel, click that blue join button. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. Because I'm a very fair guy. Try to be fair. Try to do the right thing. If you got less than five grand in a savings account, don't click the blue join button. Why? Well, get your savings account right. Now, I may lose some members because of that, but. You know what I mean? It is what it is, guys. I mean, you know, take care of yourself first, okay? Uh, you know, and I'm not going to apologize for doing what I got to do for myself, but do what you got to do for yourself, okay? And there's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself, okay? You're not abusing anyone by doing that, so take care of yourself. Get your money right. Be able to live on your own if you can, physically and emotionally, financially. And uh, But I want to tell you guys, there's a lot of people, guys. They got a lot of government subsidies. They got a lot of money in cash. So they may not have five to 10 grand in a savings account under their name legally, but they got five to $10,000 in singles from their stripper days buried somewhere where you'll never find out, probably in one of their storage units. And they'll cry the blues that no one wants to help them. That's why I want to tell you, click that blue join button, even if you got less than $5,000 in a savings account, because you lying motherfucker, you got 5,000 stashed somewhere. Yeah. And then you try to make me feel bad. Fuck you. Now right, let's stay positive. I hope you helped out this video. I, I, I enjoyed it. All right, take care.